Raise your hand if you'd like to learn how to prep with an e-file. What's up, nail crew? I had a bunch of requests on how I do my nail prep with an e-file, and I thought it'd be a great idea to do a full tutorial on it. This way everyone can see some do's and don'ts, and I will give a bunch of tips and tricks that I've learned along the way. The very first thing that I like to do is if I'm using a new sanding bit, which I'll use later in my prep, you always want to season the sanding bit. All that means is you just take an old nail file and run the sanding bit right along it just for a couple seconds this way when you're using that sanding bit you don't accidentally cut yourself the next tool I like to use the next bit is a cuticle ball bit and I will leave a link in the description box for my favorite ones off Amazon you can get a pretty good a four pack for pretty cheap under ten dollars the set that I'm using is the smallest of the set that I have and I just found that the smallest one really helps me get into my cuticles and make sure that there is nothing left over no left over invisible cuticle when I am done with the ball bit. All you're doing is basically going around your cuticle and and drilling off all that excess invisible cuticle. Now first I pushed all my cuticles back which I forgot to video so it's not in the tutorial here but that's the very first thing you do that just kind of loosens everything up and then you go very gently around on your skin not on your actual nail. You That's really important when you're using the ball bit. You want to make sure you are on your skin at all times and I think in this video I feel like it looks like a little bit I'm touching my nail but I am actually just scraping off all of the invisible cuticle on my skin and you guys look at how much stuff is coming off like that is how much invisible cuticle would have been all over my nails had I not taken it off and it this is the easiest most gentle bit I've used because you could literally run it along your skin and it doesn't cut you it's just this small carbide ball bit that Use, you use to remove all of your invisible cuticle. One of the big tips that I learned when using this ball bit is you don't want to press really hard down. Just, just barely pressing it against your cuticles really helps remove all that gunk and get into, I call invisible cuticle gunk sometimes, and get it off your nails. So when you go to prep, it will be nice and clean. The other thing that you want to do is once you're totally done, I like to wipe everything off with my Young Nails Protein Swipe and just see like, is there anything that I missed when I was doing my cuticle removal? Then you want to rough up your cuticle cuticle or I'm sorry you want to rough up your nail bed and you can do this with a medium or fine coarse sanding bit um, I usually just use the ones that come free with my drills and I very very gently go over my entire nail and make sure that it's gently roughed up so that when I'm doing my enhancement whether it's gel or whatever it has something to adhere to if you like this tutorial be sure to check out my next one on how to apply builder gel from start to finish thanks so much for joining me today nail crew